doves. So I know that it is winter time, but I like to keep my feet petty ready all year round. So I'm going to show you how I do that. Let's get started. Do not be this girl. What you're going to want to get is a pedicure tub, uh, get some salt as well as a soak, and just sit back and relax for about five minutes. After five minutes has passed, I will get some gloves as well as my favorite callus remover and I'll begin to apply it to all of the rough areas of my feet. And I like to do this every two weeks personally. Okay, so now I'm going to go in and I'm just going to buff out the areas where I let the callus remover sit. Of course, those are gonna be the rough parts of my skin. And another key thing to remember is it's best to leave this on for five minutes, but don't exceed that because it's really strong. Um, now I'm going to get a sugar scrub and I'm just going to exfoliate all of the additional dead skin that could have been left on. And I like to start with the front part of my feet and then I like to concentrate on the heels as well. And once that's all done, I am ready to begin moisturizing. And I like to use a body butter or a lotion, whichever one you're partial to. And I just also want to emphasize to not forget your heels. So now it's time to prep and I like to first start prepping by using my 100 180 grit nail file and I just like to rough up my nail plates a little bit and uh, make sure that all of the uh, surfaces are nice and smooth. And then I'm going to get a cuticle pusher and I'm just going to push back the cuticles um, per usual and making sure that I have the areas nice and clean before I go in with the next step. And I feel like I say this a lot, that you can use a metal cuticle pusher, but I like using the orange wooden sticks because they're one time use and it keeps it nice and sanitary. And that's it, we are all done. Bruh. Just kidding. So you'll wanna make sure for this next step that you definitely have nail clippers. Um, I just personally use regular nail glue and you can use glue adhesive tabs. And of course I'm using uh, my press on slash whole nail tips, or you can use tips specifically made for toes. Okay guys, so the next part, I like to use this white color by Sally Hansen. It gives me that nice crisp white color that um, I love wearing all year round. Because I change up my nails so often, I do like to keep press on nails on my toes. I just find that the surface is so much easier to paint. And then if you do want to switch it up, it's really, really easy without using so much acetone and so much nail polish on your natural nails. So finally, you'll just want to follow up with your favorite top coat. I'm using the Jealous Nail Gel Coat by ACI. Um, and my toes look nice and neatly painted because I went in afterwards and got a brush dipped in acetone and made sure I cleaned up around the sides. So there you have it, petty ready feet all year round, done at home. So if you found this tutorial helpful, informative, inspiring, or just entertaining, make sure to hit that like button for me. Make sure to share this video with a friend that you'd like to try this with. And of course, for more weekly content like this, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so I can spam you. I love reading y'all's comments. So please make sure to let me know in the comment section below. Pedicure. Pedicures. Do you get them done every two weeks? Professionally, at home, let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching.